One beautiful April morning, I walked past the 100% perfect girl. Tell you the truth, she doesn't stand out in any way, but still I know she's the 100% perfect girl for me. The moment I see her, there's a rumbling in my chest, and my mouth is as dry as a desert. Wish I could talk to her. Half an hour would be plenty. Just ask her about herself, tell her about myself, and explain the complexities of fate that have led to this beautiful April morning. Potentiality knocks on the door of my heart. How can I approach her? What can I say? I can't bring myself to speak to her. I take a few more strides and turn. She's lost in the crowd. Now, of course, I know exactly what I should have said to her. It would have started with once upon a time. Once upon a time, there lived a boy and a girl. He was 18 and she 16. They were just an ordinary lonely boy and an ordinary lonely girl. But they believed with their whole hearts that somewhere in the world there lived the 100% perfect boy and the 100% perfect girl for them. believed in a miracle, and that miracle actually happened. One day, the two came upon each other on the corner of a street. This is amazing, he said. I've been looking for you all my life. You are the 100% perfect girl for me. And you, she said to him, are the 100% perfect boy for me. They sat on a park bench, held hands and told each other their stories hour after hour. What a wonderful thing it is to find and be found by your 100% perfect other. It's a miracle, a cosmic miracle. As they sat and talked, however, a tiny sliver of doubt took root in their hearts. Was it really all right for one's dreams to come true so easily? And so the boy said to the girl, Let's test ourselves, just once. If we really are each other's 100% perfect lovers, then sometime, somewhere, we will meet again without fail. And when that happens, we'll marry then and there. What do you think? Yes, she said, that is exactly 
what we should do. And so, they parted. The test they had agreed upon, however, was utterly unnecessary. They should never have undertaken it. But it was impossible for them to know this, young as they were. One winter, both the boy and the girl came down with a terrible illness. And after drifting for weeks between life and death, they lost all memory of their earlier years. Time passed with shocking swiftness, and soon the boy was 32, and the girl 30. One beautiful April morning, the boy was walking from west to east, while the girl was walking from east to west. They passed each other along the same narrow street. The faintest gleam of their memories glimmered for a brief moment in their hearts. Each felt a rumbling in their chest. And they knew she is the 100% perfect girl for me. He is the 100% perfect boy for me. But the glow of their memories was far too weak. Without a word, they passed each other, disappearing into the crowd. forever. A sad story, don't you think? Yes, that's it. That is what I should have said to her. <laughs>